What's up everyone? Thanks for clicking on the video and today we are going to get into what I wore for this past 2020 hunting season. All right, so let's talk about what I wore for my 2020 hunting season here in central Pennsylvania. And everything's gonna be talking about First Light. I did a video back uh, in summer of 2019 about all the pieces that I wore. So this is kind of building off of that, the review. And I'll say that everything that I own as far as, uh, as sizing and fit is a medium. I'm 5'7", about 180 pounds. Uh, so that's just to get, kind of give you a rough estimate. Nothing fits too tight, nothing's too big. It just fits perfect. Um, so I know I, in the, I mentioned in my video before, where I've talked about I had other issues with uh, some previous clothing where I'd be either large or medium uh, and just kind of would go up and down. Uh, but for First Light, I'm a medium with all their fusion, cipher, uh, all their, their camo patterns and even their normal uh, solid colors as well. So I wanna get right into it, talk about base layers. And the we'll talk about their kiln, their wick, as well as their furnace and when I use those. So with the wick, I wear this early season. You can wear this really all year round. And the one piece that, uh, the, this piece in particular, what I love about it is just how nice and light it is. It wicks sweat away, awesome. So early season, this is where I, I wear this piece a lot. Uh, if it's early season, let's talk upper body first. So if I'm going wick hoodie, I may then go with either like a sawtooth vest. If it gets really, really cold in the morning, I might even throw on the uh, Klamath hoodie, okay? So I would go with the wick, ho the wick hoodie, Klamath hoodie, and then probably the sawtooth vest. For the bottom, I would go with the kiln base layer. Okay, and these fit wonderful, uh, they, they're, they're soft, and I really, with all the pieces, had no issues with any piece next to skin as far as like itching or anything like that. So I've been really happy uh, as far as that goes. And when we talk about early season, the obsidian pants are a great option. I have them in that solid earth tone color, and I have no rips or tears in those. And that's with two years uh, wearing them a lot, whether it be turkey season, whitetail season, I went out west this past year and wore them out there and no rips or tears. So knock on wood for that. Uh, and I know I've seen a lot of people sometimes either comment that they weren't as durable, but I don't know if they fixed that, but I've been lucky enough to, to wear those now for two seasons without any tears or rips. Um, when we go into that mid season, the kiln top is a great option. Again, it's it's heavier than the wick hoodie. However, it will uh, still wick moisture away. It does a good job of drying pretty quick. Uh, if I just wear this in into the woods, uh, I, I, I'll, I might sweat a little bit, but by the time I get to my tree, I might sit for about 10, 10 minutes when I get there early enough, uh, and let things kind of dry, and then I'll layer up and then climb up to the tree. So that's something where, again, it does a great job. It keeps me warm and uh, it does not itch whatsoever. When things dip down to, I would say, 40 or below, I love wearing the furnace base layer. This is the one piece that, I've, if you were to buy any piece of equipment from First Light, this is the one piece that I highly recommend. I highly recommend, too, getting it in a Fusion Cipher or Spectre when it comes out pattern. The reason why is because if it's still warmer, but it's a little chilly in the morning, Wear this, and then if you have another piece, uh, like, a, like a vest to throw on, like this is a sawtooth vest, I wore this combo a lot actually, more so uh, than the previous year, just because I'm figuring out what I liked, what I did not like. So I wore actually the furnace base layer and the sawtooth vest a ton this year. I wore even just the Klamath hoodie and the vest, either or with the Catalyst or Uncompadre jacket a lot. So I would say that early season to early mid season, those are all great pieces. And when things start to dip down as far as pants go, the Catalyst pants are such a great option. They're super quiet, they're really durable, and that fleece lining is awesome. It keeps my legs warm. I really don't have any issues when it comes to warmth. Uh, and I'm not layering a ton of things on. That's just my personal, uh, how I feel comfortable out there at least. Uh, but when things do start to dip, like I said, I would wear, the, say, the Catalyst pants, the 
uh, furnace base layer or the kiln base layer depending on the temperature range with the Klamath hoodie and then from there I saw myself wearing uh, the Uncompadre jacket more so than the Catalyst jacket for this season and the reason why is because of the wind uh, kind of brake stopper material uh, that, that's within this but also just because of the packability it really packs down awesome it packs down just a little bit better than the Catalyst jacket but I will say this is louder compared to the Catalyst, but I mean, you're splitting hairs as far as that goes. And it's just whatever your, your preference is on that. And when we get into that late season, I like to obviously start out with that furnace base layer and then the Klamath hoodie with the Uncompadre jacket. So I would feel really good with that depending on that temperature range. I would say anywhere from 35 and up, okay? When it drops down from 30 below, I would find myself then throwing on that Solitude jacket. And I would actually sometimes remove that Klamath hoodie and just go with the furnace base layer, this jacket, the, the Young Compadre 2.0, and the Solitude jacket with the bibs, okay? And that's something where you, my first year, because I did not have the Uncompadre jacket, I had a little bit extra layering with that and I had no issues with it. I loved it. I can't, I can't talk up the Solitude kit uh, more than I already do. But this year I found myself wearing a lot of times either the Solitude jacket with just either Catalyst pants uh, as far as like top and bottoms go or even just my bibs then with the Uncompadre jacket as well and obviously varying my, my base layers. So I really hope that this video will answer some of those questions as far as like what I wore from that previous one. I got a couple questions of how are things, you know, how they pan out after two years. And I will say the quality of them is top notch. I have no rips or tears in any of them. I just kind of keep building on to what I've seen, uh, what I like. And that's as far as like just even socks or gloves. Uh, but the one piece again uh, that I added uh, were the Uncompadre 2.0 and the Wick hoodie uh, for this past season. I just found those two really brand, like open, bridged the gap as far as early season wearing the, the Wick hoodie compared to going right to the kiln just because the kiln early on, if it's hotter, is just too hot. So that Wick hoodie does a great job of doing that moisture wicking up, you know, away. And then when things get a little bit colder or you just, if it's windy out, that Uncompadre 2.0 does the trick. So I hope I covered uh, what I really wanted to cover in this video. I just wanted to go over how I wore it uh, as far as temperature ranges. Again, that you can't go wrong with any piece, uh, but my top, my top two pieces uh, would be a, a, a base layer is the furnace. If you're going pants, oh man, if I, I, I would say go with the, the Catalyst pants just because they, they, they do, they bring, uh, so much versatile to, to it just because of you could wear them early season with no layers underneath them and you still would be great. And then for la later on in the year, uh, they're a, a great option because of that fleece lining. And then when it comes to that outerwear piece, uh, if, if you are solely looking for something white tail, you can't seriously go wrong with the, either the Solitude bibs um, or jacket. And then again, that Uncompadre jacket as far as the how it breaks down, uh, and, and the wind stopping uh, properties that it has, it, it's a great piece. So check out what First Light has to offer at firstlight.com. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If there's something that I missed, if I'll watch it, and I'll drop some, some more information in the description below. But make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you. We're gonna have some more videos coming out. So now see you next time, Antler up.